Hello -ho, everyone, and welcome to this new Let's Play of Jade Empire. We're going to begin a new game completely blind, and we're going to play this game to its fullest extent. I'm very excited to play, and I've heard many great things about this. It's set in a world, a world of beauty, a Chinese world, but it's not China. It's like an alternate world of China. Well, not alternate world of China specifically, but kind of like, yeah, like a, a fantasy world, but with Chinese culture and uh, lore and, and a lot of philosophy. So I'm very excited to bring you this Let's Play, guys. So yeah, it's, it looks very basic. This game is, it's not that old. It's, I think it's about 2004 or five. So yeah, it's not too old, but it will have some noticeable, you know, kind of earlier graphics. But I hope you guys enjoy this. It's an action RPG game, so there's a lot of there's a lot of decision making in this game, but there's also a lot of action. So think like Dragon Age, Mass Effect, um, and think like Knights of the Old Republic is is preceding this game essentially. So yeah, it's that kind of game. Oh, music gone. I guess we should begin. All right. So first of all, what we've got to do is create a character. Yes, you get to create a character, or at least you get to select a character. So yeah, what this game is, is it's a martial arts game. So there's a lot of martial arts in this game, so no like swords that we're gonna get hack around with. It's gonna be a lot of um, combos, a lot of, you know, fighting, um, yeah, fighting quick, fighting defensively. Kung Fu, you know, it's a Kung Fu game, kind of. But yeah, lots of Chinese martial arts will be involved, of course. As you can imagine. So yeah. So this guy. Many in the Jade Empire have heard of Legendary Strike. Okay. So he's got like special ability. So each one of these will have a special ability. Right. I don't know who to choose. I think I'll choose the person who fits me the most. Yeah. Woo the Lotus Blossom. Totally. Now nah, we'll see. Because I want to go for a, um, a style that I'm used to. So why not the fastest or strongest. Oh wait. You can make a custom character. Oh, custom characterization. Okay. So you can't make a custom character, but you can you can customize their abilities and such. Heavenly Wave. That sounds cool. Yeah, Chinese history is always interested in me, especially the ancient Chinese history. Um, furious Ming. <laughs> sounds very furious. Ah, furious Wave. Okay. Tiger Shen. Ah, he looks kind of like my character. Criticize the white demon style for being slow and ponderous, but in the hands of the true master, can be one of the deadliest martial styles of all. I usually go for a moderate character. Um, so, hey, Radiant Gen Z, Z, Z. I don't necessarily have to uh, play as as a male. I could play as a female. That totally doesn't bother me at all. Ah, so there are different character types. So there's fast, magic, balanced magic. I don't know. Monk Jen could be cool. He seems like my kind of character. I like monks. Seems pretty neat. But then again, a scholar Ling. Like I like scholars, but I also like monks. You know, I might play a scholar Ling. Yeah. Like, look at that outfit. That is rocking. Like, oh, yeah. And I think there are, there will be romance options in this game. I do believe, because hey, it's Bioware's style, right? So she's got the Leaping Tiger, Heavenly Wave, and she's a magic character, and I really love magic. Magic is fun to play around with. So, th there may not be weapons, but there is magic as well as the fighting, I think. The normal fighting style. So those are all the characters, but yeah, I'm gonna go with Skull and Ling. Hope you guys don't mind me playing this female character, but hey, it's more fun that way, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm not a master, so... Wait, loading an existing character. Oh, right, I see. So custom. So, what should we put points into? So we've got four available points. So body. Doesn't look like body's really... F I suppose we want to balance, right? That's that's a Chinese thing. It's the balance. Um, so we'll get a balance going. Spirit. I think spirit should be the most. Yeah. So I'm not entirely sure about the mechanics of this game. We'll read a bit about this. So health measures your physical endurance. When health reaches zero, you die. You can regain health by using oh, I see interesting um yeah so inner strength the chi all right so I love that this chi and chi is is your spiritual connection to the world the the it's kind of the balance of the the body the mind and the soul I don't know I don't know how 
how much the heart plays into uh, the Chinese culture. Well, I guess we'll be learning a lot about it. Hey, there'll be a lot of talking in this game as well. Lots of characters to meet and stuff. So I'm very excited about that. Can I move a character around? No, I can't. Ah, I love the stances. Hey, it's not that graphically dated. I, I can work with this. Totally fine. I mean, you just watched me play Jedi Outcast, right? But yes, this is good. Right, I just need to take a screenshot because I need, um, I need my friend to actually, like, draw a picture of the character so we can make an intro video, which you'll probably have seen already. But this will probably be, I don't know, an episode zero? I suppose so. But again, there's not much customization going on. Alright, I think we'll accept. Oh, we get to choose a style! Oh! Hello. So, these are our styles. So, support style does direct damage in Chi strike mode. This style's power attack can initiate a harmonic combo that produces a health power-up. Oh, that's cool. Fighters skilled in heavily wave learn techniques that can slow their opponents to a crawl. While the support style does not no damage on its own, Master can manipulate the Chi in the area around opponents, rendering them sluggish and easily defeated. Even the most lightning fast of foes can be slow to a turtle's pace the skillful application of Heavenly Wave. You know what I'm sensing from this game? I'm sensing a lot of Avatar vibes. I think this game is really going to satisfy my Avatar kind of need. Because, oh, I love Avatar. Alright, so... Alright, so that's for the one we start with naturally. So we get to slow down enemies. We'll probably need a martial style, which yes, it is trying to get us to do. Uh, harmonic. So Legendary Strike could be fun. Leaping Tiger, Thousand Cuts. Master of a Star relies on numerous light strikes in quick succession instead of a singular punishing blows or thunderous kicks. I like that, like the Thousand Cuts or the Legendary Strike. But few have actually seen it in action. But those who have to be feared, their blows rain down too fast to block and their kicks can quickly put an opponent out. I'm not sure what to go for here, guys. Probably something fast. And then again, fast doesn't necessarily mean better, right? You keep even armed opponents at bay. The Leaping Tiger. I think we'll go with Legendary Strike. I think that's the one it's trying to get us to go with. So we'll do that. Alright. Accept custom character. Yeah! Let's do it. Scholarling. Oh, I can rename her! Okay. So we should call her... We should call her... Like Jin. Like, oh, Zhang. Zhang. Um. Oh. I mean, Scholar Ling just didn't work. I mean, I could call her Ling Ling, right? No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be very respectful here. So, Zhang Buo. Is it like Buo? I think it's Zhang Buo. We need an awesome name. I know. Here's a, here's an easy one. Xanadu. Yeah, Xanadu. Because, I mean, that's like the legendary the legendary Chinese city. It's the Atlantis of the East, essentially. I can call her uh, Xanadu or Xanadu. Yeah, that'll work. I mean, I'm not going to name her my name. I mean, well, actually, I could. Auxilius. Auxilius? Yeah, but that's, that's not that Chinese. Like, the it's the O. The O doesn't really work. Yeah. How about, yeah, Xanadu Jing. Jing, not Zhang. Jing. Or just Shin? Maybe like King. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Xanadu Zin. Jin. I like it. I mean, it could randomize, but nah. It's a fun name. I like it. It's got its own style to it. Alright. So Legendary Strike is our starting start, and these are our two. So I'm guessing we'll get more as we go along. And yeah, our starting chi is really good. Alright, it doesn't say anything about our character, so I'm guessing it's completely up to the story to tell us where we're going. Oh, this is going to be awesome. I'm actually really excited to see how this plays out. Ah, uh, it's going to be an epic adventure. And that's what I love. Epic adventures. Oh man, that's actually really pretty. All right, I guess we're gonna learn how to fight. I swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. Um. <laughs> all right. We, yeah. So now we get to make these. <laughs> I doubt it. I, I doubt it. You strike with the grace of a cow. I could blindfold myself. That might even odds. One more match then. Let's be. 
let's be respectable. Yeah. <laughs> For all that, he's trained you to be the best of us. You're not Master Lee yet. Aw, I want to be Master Lee. I would Lee. welcome another match with you, though. Let's say one more before we break for the day. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a no. <laughs> Shoot your skills with your hands, not your words. <laughs> how about I am really beaten, let's friend? Let's begin. Okay, let's see how this works. Hopefully, this works well with the uh, the mouse. All right. Ah, I see. Oh, bam! Huh. Oh, I'm liking this. Okay. Oh. Nice. Huh. Oh. Is there a heavy attack? Yes. Ha 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 ha. Oh. Alright, let's defend. Defend yourself! Yeah, well done. Oh, youch! Chi heal, so that's holding left shift down. Oh, cool! Yeah, we've got good magic, so we can do that quite well. Oh. Oh, broke the block. B -b 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 block breaker! Oh man, I love it. So I used to play this game called Tekken. It's really fun. He's trying to heal himself. So double tap the movement keys. Oh! Oh, sweet! Oh, wow, and you can hit him in the face. In the face! <laughs> and now we just need to defeat him. Oh, that's easy. Alright, so... Oh! Knockout. K K K K O. Ooh. Did you see? Master Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. Aww. I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. Yeah. Thank you for the bout. Thank you for the bout. Let's you be respectful. Gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. Ah, oh, excellent. Where is Master Lee? Master Lee just went into his house. It's just over there, as always. Aw. Oh, this place is so pretty, you I love it. You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spar. Hmm, <laughs> you know it. So I wanna I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. Aw. I wonder how experience will play into this game. Alright, so Masterful Tells of Doom, arrival challenges for station, and the past wants the present. Your training nears its completion in the idyllic setting of two rivers. Master Lee promises that soon you will know more about how you came here and where your future will lead. All the while, strange tales begin to spread of ghosts that will not rest in shadowy assassins who heed no law. Hmm. Oh, cool! I love it. Alright, so we need to talk to people. So, I'm guessing you press spacebar? Or you press enter? No, that's a pause button. Um, so how do I interact? Do I just press space or F? Ooh, focus mode. Interesting. Um, I'm still trying to find the button. From I am what... healed. You are healed. That... <laughs> We're gonna get used to that saying, I'm guessing. Master Lee keeps talking about restless dead, but there's nothing like that around here. Restless dead. Our most senior student has a spare moment to spend with me. An honor. She doesn't sound like she means it. No, wait. I shouldn't be like that. Master Lee always reminds me that jealousy is a low path and not worthy of one of his students. Hmm. I understand your training is almost complete. I wonder who will replace you as our example. Stop being condescending! <laughs> it certainly won't be me. I can't even imagine Master Lee saying, you must strive to be like Lin in all things to the others. Just the opposite, more likely. Poor Lin. It's all to Jen. 
to say it, don't give him a chance. Be the best you can. Don't worry about following others. Walk your own path. Yeah. That's easy enough for you to say. You're already the best in the school. The rest of us just stare at your back. Ta. Maybe I should spend more time training and less time worrying about where I stand in the school. How else will I be good enough to take you down one of these days? Ta. Well. Besides, there might be bigger things to worry about. I find myself intrigued by the ghost tales that everyone's mentioning. Hmm. Yeah, me too. I only just heard it, but hey. Um, so, oh, there's a down button. So, let's see, let's talk to her. You think I will talk about them behind their backs? I will, but I don't want people to think of me as the local gossip, even if I am just that. <laughs> well, that's good to know. So what are the students of note? Of note? There's only one student of note, and that would be you. Everyone else, even Dawnstar, is just a background for you and your supposed destiny. Hmm. I'm sure you know that your implied status causes jealous remarks. I have muttered a few, but I don't mean you harm. Hmm. Well... The one you should be careful of is Gao, but I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. Okay. So, tell me about Gao. You know him as well as I do. A rich man's son. Oh dear. He's attractive, I suppose, but arrogance follows him like a cloud of locusts. Hmm. I hear his father is the same way. Gao the greater and Gao the lesser. Oh. Not a family I would want to be a part of. Tell me about Dawnstar. Why do you need to ask me about Dawnstar? You know her better than anyone as far as I'm concerned. You two practically grew up together. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's why you two get along so well. Maybe her sense for ghosts and the like meshes well with the great destiny Master Lee sees for you. Maybe. What are you getting at? What have you heard of me? Master Lee never stops talking about you. You are special, or so we are repeatedly told. It can get annoying. Then again, some find it outright threatening. Mm. Who should I be concerned about? Didn't I already ask that? I think I already asked that. Yeah. Other if questions. You wish, what do you want to ask about? Okay, so what do you think of Master Lee? Master Lee took me in when no one else would. He is a firm master, but a kind man deep inside. Oh. How did Master Lee come here, or who was Master before Master Lee? I think that's a good I one. I really don't know or care. It may as well have been Sagacious Tien, the first emperor. That was before I was born. Sagacious? That's a cool name. <laughs> so how did Master Lee... I imagine that he walked. If you want anything more than that, you'll have to ask someone who was here at the time. That was 20 years ago. Oh, wow. So, let's go back to if my other questions. Wish, what do you want to ask about? <laughs> oh, everything. Would you be interested in sparring? Oh, how about Lynn? I'm sure you've figured out most of my little quirks by now. I've been here a few years. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they'd know each other. <laughs> how did you come here? I wasn't the delicate flower my family had hoped for. They believed school would calm my spirit. Hmm. But Master Lee has shown me how to focus myself. I have learned many skills while here, and not many of them require that I be delicate. Huh. <laughs> Excellent. So what will you do when training when you're done training? When I am done? I haven't really thought about it. I won't go home. There's no place for me there. If I can stomach the books, I could become a scholar. Perhaps I'll go to the Imperial City. I should see it at least once in my life. The Imperial City. Mmm. Sounds awesome. So. If you win. <laughs> Over questions, yes. I think we should. Sp oh, wait. Let's let's learn about ghosts. I don't like Dawnstar senses. All I have is stories. But they're becoming more and more common. Tales of people being haunted by loved ones. And mad ghosts attacking people on the roads. Or even in their homes. Oh, dear. And Master Lee accepts Dawnstar's ability to see and sense things others can't. If he believes her, then how could I believe otherwise? Hmm. Interesting. So what exactly They're are exactly they? They're exactly what you'd expect. The souls of humans who have died. According to all the legends, when you die, your soul travels to the underworld. 
and these guys didn't. Once there, your soul is judged and placed upon the wheel of life, so that it can return to this world in a new life. I like that philosophy. <laughs> a soul that doesn't return to the wheel of life becomes a ghost. Ah, interesting. So where do they come from? According to the stories, ghosts are usually people whose souls are trapped in this world, either by circumstance or because they won't let go of their old lives. Mm. The thing is, those circumstances are very rare, and you never heard about ghosts ten years ago. Now everyone's talking about them. Ah, interesting. It's like something has happened, and people aren't leaving this world like they should be. Either that or it's mass hysteria, but I can't believe that explanation. Sounds like the lore I wrote, actually. Tell me more about Dawnstar. From what I understand, Dawnstar is very sensitive to magic and to the spirits we call ghosts. She sees things that others can't. Ah. Sometimes she knows things that she shouldn't. I really can't say if it's intuition or something else. Hmm. So, what do they look like? That was my first question when I started hearing these rumors. Apparently they can look just like us, though possibly pale and faded. Hmm. Some ghosts have been around a long time, and apparently they begin to change. They grow distant from their bodies and become more monsters than people. Oh dear. The scary thing is that a lot of the stories I've been hearing are about these old ghosts. The ones that look like monsters. It just doesn't make sense. Hmm. So, let's go back to my other questions. Wish. What do you want to ask about? I want to spar! So yes, interesting occurrences going on. Of course. I have to keep practicing if I'm going to be able to best you one day, aren't I? Hmm. Let's begin. Excellent. Let's see if we can use Smiling Mountain's sparring ground. Once we're done, I'll wander back here if you need me again. Awesome. Let us begin. Are we gonna bow? Take a bow. Oh, maybe not. Oh, nasty. Oh, she's got a staff. Oh, nasty. Oh! Oh! Damn! Bam! Oh! Kicked her air! Yeah, and then they bow. Okay. Nice. So we get experience. Okay, so experience does work I in this am game. Healed. So, wait, did I just change from not running to, to walking? Okay, what did I press? What am I pressing? No! We're walking too slowly! I just need to figure these buttons out. Um, oh, there we go, so control. So can we go this way? Oh, we can! Oh, man! This game's awesome! Ooh. Look like a village over here. Oh, and a water mill. That's so pretty. I should probably go back though and, and talk to some people. Some mar people. Some peoples. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Ah, what's this? It's a tomb. This grave appears to be dedicated to the old master, a former instructor of the school. It is a humble tribute, not even bearing his name. A small bowl sits beneath the stylized image of a lion. Ready to accept offerings of silver to speed the spirit of the departed to his rest. You have no silver, leave it as it is. Oh, I wanted to do it. Oh well. I don't have silver. Oh, senior student. Not too many people come back here this time of day, so we thought we'd take a moment to practice. Would you like to join us? We could team up against you and learn from the best. <laughs> I hope I don't get beaten. Why the unfair odds? No, wait, hang on. Um... We should keep practicing. We have a weapons training session later this afternoon. Perhaps one of the others, like Wen or Lin, could help you. Yeah, well, I do want to spar. If you wanted to help us practice in a match against us both, of course, we would be most honored. All right, we'll do this, and then we'll end the episode. Um, yeah. This is good news. 
We'll try to go easy on you. <laughs> well, we'll see if Legendary I can. Legendary strike. Oh crap! Oh, I've got to get used to it. Hang on. Heavenly wave. Oh yeah. So how do I switch opponent? There we go. So we use the uh, the Q button. Right. Okay. Legendary strike. Oh, I took him out. Nice. And that's how it's done. That's enough. I didn't think we'd win, but it was an honor to face you. Thank you very much. We have to go. Smiling Mountain's going to be teaching a class soon, and then we have weapons training. Ah, I'm really digging the combat in this game. Man, that's it's so cool. Like, ah, oh, and I, I absolutely love the settings. Hey, it's a monkey! Monkey! It's not doing anything. <laughs> Making the monkey sounds. I love the music as well. Absolutely love this. This harmonious Chinese music. Ah. Oh. Hey guys, alright, so I, I better end this episode here guys. I hope you're enjoying this so far, I'm loving it, so, and I will see you next time. And if, if you do like the series, please remember to subscribe. Thanks guys, see you next time. Tally ho!